Hey, what's going on you guys? In this video, I'm going to talk about top five potential anti-hair loss treatments which are about to enter the market during the next three to five years. We are going to take a look at their effectiveness, amount of remaining trials until the treatment will become approved eventually and the approximate release date. So stay tuned. Hey, what's going on you guys? My name is Matt and I have done a hair transplant about two years ago. So welcome to my hair transplant channel, which is all about things like stopping our hair loss, getting our hair back and hair transplant. For all the new guys who have never watched any videos on my channel, make sure you get my free ebook, five things I wish I'd known before my hair transplant, which can really help you buy your hair transplant research to end up in the good hands of a great hair transplant clinic, how to find a great specialist how to get a quality hair transplant result and for all you guys who are interested in me helping you out by your hair transplant research directly what clinic to choose what clinic to avoid what I would do in your situation with your type of hair loss with your amount of money that you have to that you are willing to spend for the transplant so make sure you apply for my consultation in the description below before we proceed with the video all right, starting out with a hair loss treatment, number one, my number one is going to be the Takeshi Suji's lab called the Raikon in Japan. It all started out in 2011 and 2012 when he managed to clone 10,000 new hair follicles from a one square centimeter area of skin tissue and it was done on hairless mice. Well, what he found out was that in each and every hair follicle, there are two types of hair cells, epithelial cells and dermal papillar cells. If these two types of cells interact together, new hair growth is induced. Well, what he started to do was he started isolating the dermal papillar cells on one side and epithelial cells on the other side. And he started cultivating them separately in Petri dish for 21 days. In these two separate Petri dishes, hair cloning processes started. After 21 days, the cells started to interact with each other and produce several thousands of new hair. Well, human trials haven't started yet, but they are planned for 2019 after successful implantation of newly cloned hair germs on hairless mice, which haven't been done yet successfully. In my opinion, if it's not going to be in 2019, when the human trials will start, it can be in 2020. Normally, we need at least two or three trials in the US or Europe for any type of stem cell hair regenerative treatment to be approved and commercialized. Well, in Japan, they only need one successful trial in order for a hair regenerative or stem cell treatment to be fully commercialized, which is great that can really speed up the process of commercialization. So in my opinion, if this works, if we will get the first and successful human trials on this treatment of Takeshi Suji, we can first see it being commercialized in Japan. But since we haven't even started with human trials, I don't think it's going to be sooner than in the next three, four years. So my estimation is 2022 until 2025, 26, somewhere in between. Okay. It's going to be sooner in Japan, later worldwide. All right, guys, the second anti hair loss treatment, which has Quite a lot of potential and my favorite treatment is called Brizula. For all you guys who don't know what Brizula is, here is a more extensive video on Brizula, but basically it's a topical anti-androgen cream which will be applied on your balding areas where it will target DHT and block DHT as it binds onto the androgen receptors of your hair follicle. As a result of that, there will be less and less 
hair loss or even new hair growth. How great the regrowth can be? Before I go to the results, briefly about the main compound of Brizula. The main compound is called Clascoterone. Clascoterone is able to penetrate the skin and reach the androgen receptors of the sebaceous gland. Application of Clascoterone 2.5%, 5% and 7.5% 7, 7 was observed in the first and second trial. On average, 14.3 new hair started to grow on a treated area of one square centimeter where the Clascoterone 7.5% solution was applied twice a day. And wait, if I remember it well, it was observed after one year of applying Clascoterone. And good news for all the guys who are using Finasteride or Dutasteride, Clascoterone, I mean Brizula, didn't come with any bad side effects like low libido, uh, uh, problems with erections, brain, brain fog or other, other psychological problems which many guys actually got after taking, after being on finasteride for years. I think it could be potentially released in 2022, maybe in 2023 if the FDA approvals will take longer as planned. So this is my estimation guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below and and now let's move on to the anti-hair loss treatment number three. It's gonna be the Replicells RCH01 anti-hair loss protocol. And if you know PRP, platelet rich plasma therapy, it's gonna be something similar, but they're not gonna be injecting your blood into your balding areas, but your own hair cells, which had been cloned and now being injected into your scalp. Well, so how does RCH01 works? Uh, first, they extract your hair follicle, your healthy hair follicle from the back side of your scalp, from the donor zone. They will isolate the dermal papilla. I mean, this is a more complex process how they isolate the dermal papilla from the hair and I'm not gonna go too much into that. But after they have done it successfully, they will multiply the number of dermal papillas in a Petri dish. They will do so over the course of one to two months. After that, they will inject these newly cloned dermal papilla cells into your balding areas. There you go, RCH01, that's how it works. Sounds good, I know, but let's take a look at the results right now. Well, we only had one trial so far and uh, during the first trial only 19 patients were treated and the best seven patients, the best seven responders have average increase of hair growth uh, about 14.3% in six months, which is not that bad actually, uh, considering that only one injection of RCH01 was used. After 24 months, there was 8.3% hair regrowth observed compared to baseline by top responders. So imagine now if we increase the amount of injection over the course of a period of time, be it one year or two years, and, or the option number two, we'll try to clone more dermal papilla cells in the Petri dish over the course of one, of one to two months and then just inject more of these cells more frequently into the scalp. There were no side effects observed, there was no cancer or tumor building observed, which is all great news. Well, even though the second and third trial are required in US and in Europe for Replicel and RCH01, it's not gonna be the case in Japan, because since Replicel started to cooperate with Shiseido, which is a Japanese brand which is selling cosmetics, Replicel also gave Shiseido a license to commercialize RCH01 in Japan only after one successful human trial. But now back to the first trial in Japan, which has been already accomplished. Now it's basically up to Shiseido when they start to commercialize the RCH01. Well, what is my estimation? When can Replicel's RCH01 be commercialized? 
worldwide, I don't know, 2023 to 2025, which is going to be another five years from now. But in Japan, it can also happen as soon as the end of this year or maybe even next year. All right, guys, the potential anti hair loss treatment number four, which could enter the market during the next couple of years is the Follicums FOL005 topical cream or, or topical treatment. Uh, well, the good news is that the whole research phase, the preclinical trials, the phase one and phase two of the clinical trial ha trials has been already accomplished by Folicum's FOL005, but the results are not as great, unfortunately. And by that, I mean increase of 8% of overall hair density after applying FOL005 for one month. So it's also quite a short amount of time uh, to kind of assess whether the treatment uh, is successful or not. Uh, it can also be that if we use FOL005 for longer than one month, then we can see better hair regrowth than just 8%. This 8% in increase in density was achieved after using FOL005 for one month, applying it once a day five times a week. So the trials were only done with lower dosages of FOL005 and that's why we only have seen like not as impressive results to be honest. What they will do in the phase three of the trials, they will increase the dose of FOL005 and they will probably even start applying it not just once a day but twice a day as it is the case with uh, minoxidil and other topical treatments. All right, guys, the potential anti hair loss treatment number five is gonna be Way316606. And I made a video on that as well here, so you can check it out. It's gonna be more in depth. I'm just gonna try to summarize it here. And funny enough, Way was actually discovered accidentally by treating osteoporosis. They started to dig into cyclosporin A and shortened CSA and they started to kind of observe how this cyclosporin A could trigger hair growth. They realized that this CSA is inhibiting SFRP1 protein. SFRP1 is also blocking WNT pathways, which are very crucial pathways which trigger hair growth, hair loss, to make hair grow thicker, to multiply new hair follicles on your scalp and stuff like that. So this cyclosporin A is actually enabling this WNT pathways uh, in your scalp doing their job. Well, maybe you're asking what's going on with Way? Is there a company? Is there an investor who started to work with a team of uh, scientists on this project? And the truth is that uh, there is some Italian pharmaceutical company called Giuliani, which is working to get Way free 16606 into human trials. I don't know when it's going to happen. Is it going to be 2019 or next year, 2020? I don't know, but I'm going to make sure that I'm going to make an update. I'm going to upload a video on this topic uh, once it's going to happen, once it happens. These were the top five anti hair loss treatments, in my opinion, which are gonna enter the market potentially during the next three to five years, please let me know which are your top five favorite anti hair loss treatments that you are looking forward to. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, thank you for all the new guys who have never watched any videos on my channel. If you are interested in me helping you out with your hair transplant research, finding a good clinic, finding a great surgeon uh, you can trust in order to get a great hair transplant result which can last you a lifetime, well, contact me in the description below. There is a link for my consultation which you can apply for and I'm gonna be looking forward to see you there. Other than that guys, take care, have a great day and see you in the next video.
Hey, I'm Matt and I'm your hair transplant advisor who will help you find the best hair transplant clinic in any selected price range. Do you want to skip hours of extensive hair transplant research and avoid spending thousands of dollars on a bad hair transplant? Well, I'm here to equip you with the best piece of hair transplant advice you can get and help you achieve the most natural, long-lasting hair transplant result.